An important target date for the James Webb Space Telescope, an update about the next generation of spacesuits, and testing our lunar roving robot, a few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Our James Webb Space Telescope team is planning to release the telescope's first full-color images and spectroscopic data on July 12th. Some early test imagery has already demonstrated the unprecedented sharpness of Webb's infrared view, but the images and data released on July 12th will be the first to showcase Webb's full science capabilities. On June 1st, we announced that Axiom Space and Collins Aerospace will develop and provide next-generation spacesuit and spacewalk systems for astronauts to work outside the International Space Station, explore the lunar surface on Artemis missions, and prepare for human missions to Mars. Learn more about spacesuits and spacewalking at nasa.gov slash suitup. Teams at our Glenn Research Center in Cleveland recently conducted full-scale egress testing with the prototype of our Viper Moon rover to verify that it will be able to exit the astrobotic Griffin Lunar Lander safely and effectively after landing on the moon. Viper is targeted for delivery to the moon's south pole in late 2023 to map valuable resources for future Artemis missions. The 2022 Atlantic Ocean hurricane season kicked off on June 1st and runs through November 30th. NASA plays an important role in the science of hurricanes. Our fleet of Earth-observing satellites can monitor storms from the unique vantage point of space to collect data that is also useful for disaster preparedness, response, mitigation, and recovery. Learn more at nasa.gov hurricanes. On June 2nd, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson and others attended the Apollo 1 Monument Dedication at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. The monument honors and memorializes the Apollo 1 crew, astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee, and others who lost their lives in support of the agency's mission of exploration and discovery. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.